Pekný deň všetkým fanúšikom televízie Spartak TV a samozrejme aj fanúšikom FC Spartak Trnava. Dnes sme tu opäť s diskusnou reláciou z kabíny, kam prijal počase opäť pozvanie tréner Spartaka Trnava, Nestor El Maestro. Nestor, vitaj. Vitaj. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Okay, so when you was last here in our TV show, we speak about uh, first uh, games of season. So now we can look uh, on gold September, like players said. Uh, first game after international break, we played against the FC Nitra. Uh, and in this game, we won after the goal in 94th minute of the game. So uh, it must be perfect for team, uh, for uh, psych psychologically for team uh, win for goal uh, in uh, additional time? Sure, you know, every every match is important, but some games are more important than others psychologically. And um, this game was a turning point in this young season. Um, had we lost this game, we would have been in a difficult psychological position. Um, but we managed to win and in a very spectacular emotional way. Um, but don't forget that this is only three points. It's only such, a diff uh, such an important game and, and such a turning point because afterwards we managed to build on this positive experience. Uh, in this game uh, we lost uh, in the 75th minute Andrei Ivanchik scored goal. So what do you think in 75th minute when we uh, lose 0-1 uh, against team uh, which uh, first time shoot in 75th minute? Um, I'm thinking I can't believe I'm going to lose to Nitra the same way like everybody else lost because I watched all the previous games and um, they defend very well. We have to give them credit for this, but they score a lot of goals from very few situations and uh, a lot of goals from outside of the box, you know, shots from 20 meters or, or whatever. Um, and we had talked about this before the game and I'm thinking I can't believe that history is repeating itself. You must be very happy when uh, Tomáš Brigan scored to 1-1 after Ilmas pass. Uh, these two players come to the game in after 60 minutes, I think, Brigand two minutes before goal, so it's perfect move from you. Um, in a way, yes. Um, you know, I say 90% of the coach's work is before the match in preparing the team and preparing the game. And during the match, yes, you can take some influence, but the biggest thing you can do is obviously the substitutions. Um, so it's nice that it worked out how it did. Um, and remember that uh, Briggy and Kubilai, they've changed many matches. Um, yes. It's because they have uh, good quality and also for some reason they seem to be better when they come from the bench. Um, I think I've made the same change a few times also in the last game and yes, also in the last game they really made something happen. Um, also against Slovan Bratislava we didn't manage to turn the result but Brigi and Kubilai really had an effect, effect on the game and um, this is a quality that we have, we have quality on the bench and uh, obviously it's nicer when you're leading and you're changing defensively but we know when we need to make something happen we have the guys to do it. Perfect, when you have a bench players like Brigi and Kubi. Uh, after game against uh, Nitra, we played in the Slovnaft Cup against uh, Sveti Peter. What do you think about these uh, first rounds of uh, FA Cup or Slovak Cup? Uh, you know, it it's, the, it's the same as everywhere at the beginning of the, of the cup competition. You usually have to play against uh, smaller teams. Um, these are not such simple games as, as you would think because you need to motivate the players and you need to um, perform professionally because you can have problems and in every round one first division team has problems. Um, 
the Slovnaf Pochar is a little bit weird because I don't know how it works, who we play against, when is the draw, is it on TV, is it not on TV, spider, no spider, it's a little bit weird. Um, but uh, I'll take it as it is and uh, obviously cup competition you think around to round. Uh, we know if we win one, one more game then we're in the quarterfinals and then the Pochar for us starts for real. Yes, we won uh, in second round against Jacovce, in third round against Sveti Peter. But in fourth round we play against Namestovo, a club from the third league, and we have some problems. Why? Um, I don't think we had a lot of problems, because what you think or what I think is not always the same. Like I said, you look at the game on paper, first division against third division, and you expect to win 5-0. But look at the other results in the same round, first division against third division and you see that a lot of the big teams, as you put it, have problems. Um, these games, like all games, are about winning and we controlled the game from start to finish. Um, we managed to score a goal, we managed to keep a clean sheet, not to concede and we're through. So. I wasn't very concerned after this match. I was expecting this type of game. Um, if you remember at the beginning of the second half, we had three or four very, very big chances. And yeah. if you have a little bit of luck and on a good day, you score the two or three zero and then everybody uh, thinks the game went as expected. Um, these games are difficult. Just win them and forget about them. Yes, of course, I agree. And in uh, next round, round of 16, we played against um, other team. And which team you prefer? A team from the Fortuna Liga in ho at home or uh, some uh, opponent from lower division? I really don't know. Um, for sure, I think it's, it's, it's better to play from, uh, against a lower division team than against Julina, Hoi Moroway. Um, but also, you know, if we get a big team, if you really want to do something in the cup, you're going to have to play against the big teams at some point. So it's not really that important if you have to play against Slovan or Zilina now or in the quarter semi-finals, you know, sooner or later, these matches will come. Um, let's wait and see. Okay. Uh... After a game in Slovnav Cup against Sveti Peter, we played in uh, Poprad against Tatran Prešov team, uh, which have some problems uh, in second season. Uh, but we can win 2-0, Eric Irka scored two goals. What do you think about this game? Um, we haven't had any easy games, but this was maybe together with the game we played against Dunajska on Saturday, uh, the game where we had the most control. Um, if I remember um, correctly, we played a very good first half, managed to score, could have scored more. Um, and the second half is as it always is when the game is closed, uh, you know, you are dominating and waiting for the second goal. If you score the second goal early, you can relax a little bit. Um, if you don't, then the game is always on a knife's edge. Um, but overall, a very good performance from us in pressure, I think. After this game, in the middle of the week, we play against the Vion Zlaté It's a very specific game because uh, Vion's coach is Jura Jarabek. Uh, he managed Spartak Trnava for uh, two years. So, this uh, hardest game in September or? Um, well, on paper, everybody knew that Dunajska was going to be the hardest game, but um, if you remember, Moravce played against Dunajska, I think three days before our match, and they really played really, really well. Yes. Um, and I was at this game and uh, I had a lot of respect for Zlatan Moravce in preparing our match against us. Um, to be honest, I was expecting a little bit a different kind of game. Uh, they came here and uh, played more conservatively than I expected. They showed a lot of respect. Um, they defended deeper. Um, 
than I had seen previously. Um, so it was a game where we had to try and, 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 and do something um, from possession, from you know, um, continuous attacks where we had the ball. Um, again, it wasn't easy, but we won this game deservedly. We managed to score um, and defended, if I remember correctly, very, very well. I think they had very few, if any, chances at all. Uh, we played this game at home, but we don't have a lot of chances. But as you say, defensive play, perfect game. We have a clean sheet from this game. So it is perfect game for you uh, on, on defensive because Zlatan Vratce don't have <laughs> any chances. Defenses make the season. In the long run, the defense is always the most important. Um, if you can concede less than one goal per game, usually you'll be near the top of the table at the end of the season. Um, it's the offensive players who, who can win a game, but in the long run, the defense is very, very important. And looking at the whole season, defensively, we have really been very, very good. After Nitra, we have a second best defensive in the league. Uh, and this English week, we finished uh, in, in Senica, when, where we win 3-1. Uh, so we play perfect first half, we scored two goals. Like you said, we play uh, clever and uh, we are very effective. Why in the second half was different? Um, psychology of the of the match of the players 2-0 is many people say you know the most dangerous result mm -hmm. because you feel very safe but you're not really safe if 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 the opposition scores um it's not the first time that we took our foot off the gas a little bit in the second half after playing a good first half Rujan Berok was similar for example um and this is something that we analyzed and talked about a lot after the match um, and it's something that we did better afterwards you know we, we are not perfect um, we win a lot but we still have to have to improve and uh, this is one aspect that we have to improve for sure we play against Dunajska Streda last week after Senica and in this game we scored goals in 81st and 85th minute uh, it's not first time in the season, so why is the reason where, where that we scored goals in the last minutes of game? Look, football is very flexible and very difficult to control. Um, if you look at our whole season, um, you can see certain traits, um, but we've won games in very different ways. We've won games where we started on fire, where we hit the ground running, where we played the first 15 minutes um, in an unbelievable tempo and managed to score at the beginning um, and decide the games there. Um, we've played very good first halves and then defended the results successfully until the end. Um, but we've also turned some results coming from behind. Um, we've, scored, we've scored early and we've scored late. Um, we've scored from the counter-attack and we've scored from safe possession. Um, this is good because, like I said, football is difficult to control. You have to think on your feet. Um, to be honest, when we score is not so important. It's only important that we do score. Um, against Dunajska, was pleasing to see that we played a consistently high tempo for 90 minutes and that we kept our concentration and intensity very high for the whole 90 minutes. Now against a good team, um, you can't choose when, when to score. We had some good chances in the first half, I thought in a close game, but we had the better chances. Um, and obviously 
in the second half when they're defending with one man less and defending very close to their goal, you need time to move their block and to be patient and to wait until they're a little bit tired, um, take more and more risk as the game draws to an end and um, it worked out perfectly for us. Like you said, we're risky when Yasin Pelivan goes out from pitch and uh, I'm, I think Kubila Ilmas come on pitch. Uh, you played more offensively like last 15 minutes? Sure. Um, I'm sure many people in the in the stadium didn't expect Yasin to be substituted because yes. they know of course. Um, he's very, very important in our team. And also he played a near perfect game. He was really very good. Um, but, you know, these are the decisions that you have to make, make on the bench. Um, I knew that I had to bring in um, Kubilai. But I've, I always have this feeling that when I need something, he can give it to me. Um, and then you have to think who to take out. Um, and watching the game, how it was, I thought we had absolutely no problems in keeping the ball. Um, because we are one player more and uh, because we looked fresher than the opposition. So I had no problem with, with uh, Jano going back one position. And then deciding, you know, Tono Sloboda or Yasin, I felt that um, the one or two, you know, small dangerous moments that they had on the counter attack that maybe Tono as a defensive player is, is better to solve this. Um, so that, that's why I took Yasin out. And um, I don't think it would have been different if I took somebody else out, but I felt comfortable enough to take um, this very, very important player out for the last I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. Yes, after the game against Dunajska Streda, coach Marco Rossi said uh, we played theater in this game. What do you think about it? I'll tell you a few things. Um, one is that confidence is silent. Insecurity is very loud, always, in life. Um, generally, when somebody is very loud and um, it means that they have problems, not me. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of theatre, I don't know, I think we play an emotional football and uh, also our bench is very emotional, um, sometimes a little bit too much. Um, I don't think this has an effect on the result. Um, in terms of the yellow cards, I will say that, in my opinion, there were more yellow cards in the first half than were given. Um, one team was fouling and one team wasn't fouling. Um, th one team was trying to win and play football. The other team was just defending and kicking us all over the field. So I was hoping for some protection from the referee. Um, I was a little bit animated because I saw two red cards in the first half. One for Ljubicic, for me, direct red, and yes. for me, Pambu must get two yellow cards. Um, but OK, it was a difficult game for the referee to control, um, but not because of us. We were playing football in a fair way. Also, and this is not just after Dunajska, um, not always, but many times. Um, I'm in the press conference after the match and um, we won because we almost always won. And I have to sit and listen to the other guy about how they were better and how, you know, almost every week. But, you know, I take it, you know, in the press conference uh, after the game, um, I'm definitely not the best coach in this league. Um, it's also a foreign language for me. Almost everybody can talk more and better. And they are always better than me in the press conference room. Um, as for what happens in the stadium on the pitch, look at the table and then we can see who is better than who.
Yes, when we look at the table, we are after 11 games first, five points before Slovan Bratislava. After last season, it was a fairy tale for Spartak Trnava. So, what do you think? Nobody expected this. I didn't expect this. The players didn't expect this. I'm sure you didn't expect this. The journalists didn't expect this. Nobody expected this. This is more than a surprise. Um, I'm very happy that we have 27 points because nobody can take these points away from us. Um, as for being first on the table, I'm not sure because when you are top of the table, um, there's a certain pressure that comes with it and also a certain unrealistic expectation which builds up, which is very dangerous. Um, uh, we cannot and should not forget where we came from. Um, and still the season is very young. Um, but you know, we can enjoy this moment, of course. Um, it's nice um, to look at the table when it's as it is. This is your job, I don't know, but I'm sure that we've broken many records. I don't know when, if ever, Spartak Trnava won nine of the first 11 matches in the season or won nine in any round of 11 matches in the season. Um, I don't know when the last time was, if ever, that Spartak won five league matches in a row at any time. Now we have an international break in October. Uh, we have uh, two weeks before game against uh, Michalovce, in Michalovce. Uh, what we must do in these two weeks as leader of league? Um, Maybe psychologically. Main, sure, that's what I was going to say. Um, the main focus of my work um, in these two weeks will be to avoid complacency, um, to avoid this feeling of self-satisfaction, like everything is nice, everything is easy, we're very comfortable. Um, we must always remember how hard we've had to work for every point which we have, how close most of these games were. Um, and we must never forget that the points that we have, um, we have because we've managed to play for two and a half months with an incredible intensity and tension in our game with a lot of emotion, a, a big fight in every game. Um, and that this is the only way that we can continue on a similar course. I think it's almost impossible to, you know, earn 27 points in the next 11 games. But if we want to come close to this figure, um, we have to work even harder than we've been working until now. Okay, that was the last question today. Thank you very much. Dnešným hostom v našej relácii z kabiny bol tréner Nestor El Maestro. Thanks, Andrej. A ja ďakujem, že ste sledovali dnešnú reláciu. Verím, že budete sledovať diskusnú reláciu z kabíny a na budúce a že budete sledovať aj ďalšie programy televízie Spartak TV. Dovtedy, dovidenia.